Okay, um, hi everybody. My name is Veit Schiffmann. I'm a German speaker. Uh, my English is not pretty good, so I hope you can understand it, but I'd like to give you a short report about my experiences with different lenses on the Sony A6000. And I'm using different lenses for movie and it's interesting what I found out in, in my opinion they have different character, color character, sharpness and so I um, would like to talk about this a little bit. There is a little connection of, of different lenses. I would like to talk about um, the Sony kit lens, the Sony Zeiss lens, Feuchtländer, the Contax G, an old Nikon lens, an old Leica M lens, a Pentacon lens, and a tiny little Russian Industar. First I would like to talk about my experiences with the, the both Sony kit lenses. Uh, there, are, there are two, uh, this is the older one, it is the 18 to 55 and uh, it's a zoom lens. It's a manual zoom. It starts at 3.5 to 5.6 and I like this lens very much. I like the, the possibility to have the manual zoom because while I'm composing uh, the, the, the scene, while I'm composing the frame of the picture, uh, I prefer much more the manu manual zoom because the, the, the other lens, they can this lens come, came later. Uh, this is this, nearly the same. It's a 16 to 50 uh, millimeter lens from Sony. It's also a kit lens. It's on the, it was on the next five, I think. Uh, they started with the next five, and then, and then, then so on till the Alpha 6000. And uh, with this zoom, uh, it's a digital, it's a, it's an electronic zoom. And I have the problem if I focus with that, I'm too far or too short and I have to adjust all the time and this is this makes me a little bit um, brings me out of the concentration of the of the, the frame what I want to shoot so I prefer much more this manual zoom for me this works very soft and very very exactly and I, I really it's very rare and I don't use a zoom by shooting a movie I think for me it's personal it's boring to, to zoom into something in. I don't use it so much. It's so for that it's really good for me. Another lens I would like to talk about is the Feuchtländer. Uh, Feuchtländer is in my mind a very sharp and clear lens. It has a very very good quality. They have different from 21, uh, 35, this is the 50 to 1.5, the Nocton. This is a famous lens, and uh, here I have an adapter that fits on the Sony Alpha system and on the Nex. This is a Novaflex adapter. It's really a very perfect adapter. It fits precise. It's 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 really good to work with. You can you can change the lens very fast. You can put it off and put it on again, and the Volkslander uh, lens. It's a very, in my mind, a very good quality lens. It's very sharp, it's very, very clear. Uh, the working process is a little bit different. You have to, with this uh, other lenses than the original Sony lenses, you have to work different. You have to uh, put everything manual. So you have to open uh, the, the, the f-stops complete of, of this lens. Then you have to adjust uh, the focus and at the end you go back to whatever you want five six eight whatever to uh, what any f-stop you need and then you you start shooting and this is a complete different kind of working but I, I I like it because it has a a kind of you work quiet you have to think about what you're doing similar to the Feuchtländer lens uh, 
is this one. This is from the Zeiss Contacts. Uh, the Zeiss Contacts uh, was a camera, I think the, 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 the models had been the G1 and G2 and uh, this was a, a camera, uh, this is the original Zeiss lens, called Zeiss lens, a planar and uh, I think it's a very good quality too from these lenses. The problem was, had been, uh, they, didn't, they didn't create after uh, when they finished with these camera models they didn't create uh, digital bodies for the camera so this ran out and then this was a time on the market and nobody had been interested to buy one of these lenses you could not use it for other cameras they had not been adapters at the beginning I think nowadays the people recognize that this had been that these are really great lenses and the price gets slowly up on the market you can get them sometimes cheap you can buy sometimes one at eBay about 200 euro something like that if you be lucky but uh, that's that's a really excellent lenses the problem at these lenses is they have no uh, ring or no adjustment on the lens to uh, this is the lens without the adapter I try to get get it off here yeah. this is the lens without the adapter and the lens itself was constructed uh, with this little screw here on the camera body so you did uh, adjust the, the settings for um, the, to focus the lens was to set on the camera so therefore you need an adapter here like this one where you have to the adapter takes now it has a ring the adapter and you can focus with that with the adapter um, I had first another adapter from another brand this didn't focus to in infinitive and this was a problem and then I found this this is a cheap one this is I think this adapter is made probably in Asia it was not expensive I found it in internet the only problem with this adapter had been at the beginning they have some kind of oil or whatever inside and it it is so dried out that it was really hard to focus it was not running smooth it was really hard so um, then one day I thought let's try it's a chance and there are four screws I opened the four screws put the top ring off and put some some fat some grease for um, uh, I think it's called ball, ball joints or ball bearings there is some special fat to, to and I put this in very careful on the surface put the ring on top back uh, be careful underneath is a, is a very small ring but it's not difficult to open and you you find out it is easy to to set it back and I closed it and then I had to turn it I don't know 200 times around and a little bit of the fat came out at the corners and I pushed uh, cleaned it up with a, with a Kleenex paper with a paper towel and um, after since that time this is running very smooth and fine and I really appreciate this this lens and this adapter that's a that's a beautiful lens and that's from the Contax G. Another really nice lens is an old Leica lens this is from um, I think the, the the camera the Leica M2 or M3 from around 1950 this is an old lens with the same the same um, mount system like the Volkländer. Uh, it's a Leica M mount, and this tiny little lens is a wonderful lens. It's very sharp. It's very. Uh, it has a kind of harmony inside, but um, I'm not so happy with this lens for color movies or for color fo photography. Um, this lens is perfect for black and white whenever you have an idea to make a only black and white movie use old Leica lenses from the 1950s the concept of the lenses had been for black and white so they have a really enormous tonation of the grayscale so you can see every little details in gray this runs perfect with these lenses I I'm, was really astonished when I tried it a little bit in black and white and it's much more better than the Sony lenses than the, the, the modern Volklander lenser, lender or um, any other lenses I know.
It's really great, the Leica lenses for black and white. In my mind, not for color. Yeah, it's not so perfect. It's to at this time they had been concentrated on black and white movie and a black and white film. The next lens is a Nikon lens. Uh, this was from my first camera I had many many years long time ago and the Nikon lenses are pretty good they are very sharp clear but I'm not such a friend with the color I think for, in my mind it's a little bit too goes in the in the direction yellow green something like that and um, but I think if you get an old Nikon lens like this and the price is not so high it's a perfect lens you can adjust everything later in the post-production you can change the colors whatever you like uh, the only thing is the adapter of the of the Nikon lenses is, is a little bit big you have an, you have a really big adapter and it's it's for me the only system I know maybe there are other ones too where uh, you have to close to adjust the adapter and turn it in the other direction I have always problems to find the right position here okay you have to turn it left the most other adapters you have to turn right um, but all these other lenses are no they have no stabilization inside we nearly come to the end of this little collection here and I found a Pentacon lens in eBay very cheap I think about 30 euro and I thought mm, let's try it's worth to try uh, it has a M42 to adjust and this is the adapter it's also a little bit bigger this adapter you have to screw it here I had before another one a cheap one but then I bought the Novoflex because the Novoflex is so precise that the the f-stops are on top of the lens on the camera and the other ones it had been upside down and I had always difficult to find out where is my what kind of stop I use for the lens and how to to adjust the um, the range or, and this interesting the Pentacon I think was originally a German company and uh, the lens is really good it's interesting it has a a kind of flare from old movies but not too old so 1950 I would say uh, and the colors a little bit softer it's not so strong the power of the colors is a little bit pulling down uh, it has a nice character it's nice to work with but the same all these lenses they have no uh, stabilization inside that means um, you have to use a tripod, you have to put it on the slider, you have to be very quiet by because everything else with a lens like even this a 29, this is a 29 millimeter you have so multiplied with the the factor of the of the alpha system 1.5 you have a 45 and a, you see every shaking it's like you be an alcoholic so it's it's really it's really terrible in a movie so you have to put a tripod for these lenses but if you use that it's a beautiful character I forgot from the beginning this is a also a solid size lens this is the Sonar 24 mm with 1.8 and I like this lens very much they have no there is no stabilization in so I use it only on a on a tripod or on a slider but uh, you can you can have good shots it's very sharp you can have good shots uh, with low light in low light situations therefore it's great lens and um, you need no adapter it fits directly on the Sony Alpha or next system and uh, I think this lens has a different color char character than this the zoom lens from size the 16 to 70 millimeter this the, the color character in my mind from this lens is more neutral so I have no problems with this lens that's a great lens too so I come to my last lens uh, sometimes I watch whatever is going on on eBay by with lenses and one day I found uh, interesting a little tiny lens this is a Russian lens it's called Industar it's a 50 millimeter 
uh, the the stop is at 3.5. The, the widest open is 3.5, and it is a M42 screw system to adjust. So you have to have the same big adapter here, and this is a really interesting lens. Uh, it is it is definitely not so good in the color quality like. Uh, for example, the contacts or the original Sony lenses, but it is a very sharp lens. I was surprised. I thought I bought it very cheap. I, I, I don't know, 20 euro. And I thought, oh, let's try out. It makes fun. And um, I had to open the lens first and it was, it was uh, running very, very strong. So I had to, to oil it a little bit careful. So now it's running smoothly. And, uh, but the picture quality is I was surprised. The picture quality is really good from this tiny little lens. So um, I think sometimes it's worth to try it, to buy an old lens for little money and to try out. Sometimes you get a new character, a nice character. Uh, for some parts it's funny to have a different color character in the in the lenses. It's really nice. I enjoy it and it's not much money you you, you put in a lens like this. I'm coming to the end. I forgot one little thing. Uh, at the contacts, contacts G lens, uh, there are different uh, adapters on the market. This one is a very cheap Asian adapter. It doesn't cost much, but it works pretty good. After I I oiled it and put a new fat in, uh, but. There is another adapter on the market, I don't know the name of the brand. It's a bigger one, it has a, a bigger screw around, so you can grab it much more easier. Uh, the difficulty at this, at this other one is that you, if you have the camera on the tripod, sometimes the, 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 the basic platform of the tripod is so big so that you cannot adjust, you cannot focus anymore because uh, it is blocking from the tripod, so be careful with this adapter or try it out and if it is not working with the tripod, send it back, keep the option open. But with this little adapter, works very fine and very good on the tripod. So, that's all about my experience with different glass and different lenses for the Sony Alpha 6000. Um, I enjoy it. I hope you too. Have a nice time. Bye.